Well, there's been a flood of reactions to Rahul Gandhi's candid conversation with headlines today. My colleague Rishika Barua spoke with Subramaniam Swami, who dismissed Rahul's speak as just amateur talk. Rahul Gandhi in an interview uh, to us yesterday has in fact said that uh, he will become Prime Minister if all members of Parliament agree with him. So do you think it's a direct Rahul versus Modi battle now? I think he should be renamed as Mr. Tughlaq. Tughlaq. Mohammed bin Tughlaq. A uh, man's got crazy ideas. You need 272 uh, members of your party to select you or your coalition. And they are nowhere near it. And uh, it's a big joke. And uh, I think he should not make himself look more lu ludicrous than he already is. So he claims that uh, there is a very democratic internal setup within the Congress party with the primary system as opposed to the BJP, which he's now uh, trying to say that is completely personality centric. Well, I mean, f earlier on when uh, Advani and uh, Jaswant and all disagreeing, they're saying BJP, you know, has got too much dissent. It is no more, <laughs> there's no one voice. Now when we develop one voice after um, uh, discussion, he says there's an individual centric. What does that individual centric mean? This, uh, this uh, Congress party, has it ever been anything but individual centric? After all, uh, uh, Modi comes out of an ideology. These people come out of only a family. What is their uh, uh, ideological? They were earlier on stooges of the Soviet Union. Now they're stooges of America. I mean, they're doing somersaults every day. Uh, I don't think that they, they have any right to talk about these things. I think they should be graceful losers. They should accept that this time, thanks to corruption, we are finished. And we hope we can clean it up in the future. So you talked about ideology. Rahul Gandhi claims that the ideology of the Congress party is pro-poor, whereas the ideology of the BJP is now increasingly pro-corporates and pro-big business houses. Please ask Mr. Rahul Gandhi on which aeroplanes he travels. They have created a new special strip in near, uh, airstrip near um, Amethi. And the jets are landing there. Who owns those jets? I can tell you. Ambani's. GMR, uh, 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 the, the uh, Dawood related. Uh, uh, but he he claims that there are there are a handful of businessmen who in fact control the exact same thing within the BJP as well. Well, so when you yourself are controlled by corporates, who are you to complain about other being complained, uh, being uh, you know controlled by corporates? I mean, who will take it seriously? You have uh, you you are all the time surrounded by. Uh, business people, whether it's the Hindujas or the uh, Ambani's or whatever, and you travel in the corporate jets. How many visits he has made abroad? Has he paid even uh, once uh, for his own ticket? Uh, he, he takes his entourage with him, his girlfriends with him. What about that? These are all paid for. You think those people are uh, businessmen are in a, in a charity mood that they give all this? Sir, Rahul Gandhi has also dismissed the BJP's campaign for Battle 2014 as a publicity blitz. He claims uh, that like in 2004-2009, the campaign completely fell on its feet. The same thing is going to repeat itself in 2014. What's your take on that? Well, like, uh, their campaign fell flat in 1998-1999. It fell flat in 1996 when they claimed that they have brought economic reform with the great Manmohan Singh as finance minister. What happened in 1989 when Mr. Rajiv Gandhi was thoroughly defeated? What happened in, uh, uh, in 1977 when they were thrashed fully? Indira Gandhi herself lost her own election. Hey, elections uh, happen like this. This time it is Modi all the way. And that he should realize. But sir, there was a perception that was created like that even in 2009 with the India Shining campaign that completely backfired for the BJP. In, uh, in, in 2009, it, no, uh, there was no India Shining campaign. It was only in 2004. Sorry, 2004. That's yes, right. Sorry. That, I was not a member of the BJP, so I'm not in a position to give what were the reasons. But I do feel that time that the workers uh, were not so enthusiastic in working because the ideological factor was thoroughly missing. Mm -hmm. This time the ideological factor is not missing.